Bags are packed. Ready to go. It's about time. Big moments, big life moments. We're heading down to Big Age Town to go see the big doctor, my brain doctor, to see what's going on in there. A little nervous. We're taking you guys along for the ride though. And I want to just take a moment to look at this awesome piece of art that someone has sent in. You outdid me. You outdid me on my work, good work, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That is going in the cave, y'all. Look at this, look at the work. Had a little boo-boo there in shipping. Don't worry, I'm good with wood and I'll be able to fix that, no problem. Anyway, I wanna thank you guys for all of your support and uh, it's helps me get through these times. So honey, let's go all right, we on an adventure to see what is happening inside of my brain. Having a lot of cramps. Everybody don't get worried. She's, she's not going into the labor. <laughs> These Braxton Hicks, they're like, literally it's like a ball. She, I feel like she's just balling up, but I think it's more of a cramp. I feel like I have a brick in my stomach. It's so hard. <laughs> it's a long trek, y'all. Long trek with a pregnant lady. But I tell you what, she's going strong. We haven't had one bathroom break yet, and it's been about two hours. You're doing good. That's good. And we just got word LFD is going to be joining us on this adventure today. He's working in H-Town and he's never been to this hospital or seen what goes on in there. So he's kind of curious. He wants to know that I'm doing all right. He's a little worried. My mom, my mom is a little bit worried. She texted me this morning. She's kind of, kind of scared, but I guess I would be too if little Emmy had a brain tumor. Huh? Yeah. Well, we got about two more hours to go, right? Yeah. One of my, one of my brain hospitals, like in the middle of deep East Texas, like on Toledo Bend Reservoir, out in the woods. First I'd wonder why your brain hospital was over in East Texas. I guess you would love it, because then that would give you a chance to go fishing over there. Yes, therapy. <laughs> they saw down pine trees every day. They're probably good at splitting things open, <laughs> getting into them. I see a Bucky sign in the yonder. Hallelujah. Pregnant lady got a pee. Gotta pee. Yeah, I do it. If you see a Bucky's on the side of the road, you just gotta stop. You just gotta do it. I'm starving. She's gotta pee. Perfect place. Plus, they have home decor. <laughs> they have home decor in Bucky's. You are right. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I always like their hummus packs. They have like hummus with pretzels. <laughs> you just said hummus packs. <laughs> I did. I don't think it's hummus. Yeah, but they make their own hummus, which is great. What? Yeah. I mean, are you serious? They yeah. Make their own hummus? They make their own hummus. You know what hummus is? I know what it is. It's beans. It's daggum garbanzo beans. <laughs> garbanzo beans. That's a fun word to say. Garbanzo. Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. When you're eating that, you know you're eating garbanzo beans. Chickpeas. It's packed. There is activity. Oh. Tasty time. I got an adult Lunchable. Adult Lunchables, yes, they are available there. And what did you get? I got me a daggum barbecue sandwich and a barbecue stick and a daggum and pecan praline. I was gonna say, these are my favorite. I That's feel like why I got them. every time we go, we have to get these. It's an excuse for me to eat more sugar since you like them, so. <laughs> Ooh, that smells good. Mm-hmm. I wish there were more about his, but there's one about every hundred miles, so. <laughs> you can almost see the skyline. We're going downtown. We made it. That's a beautiful jingle, babe. Thanks. It's raining. We're going to make this appointment. We've got 30 minutes. Got this. It's all good. Dr. Kim is a rock star anyways. He kind of just shows up fashionably late. It's true. We've already set aside. We were like, okay, if the appointment's at three, we probably won't even get out of there or see him until five. Because we just know that's how he operates. They took my tumor in Houston. Shout out to George Strait. <laughs> with 
time to spare. 2.51, our appointment's at 3 o'clock. Went for it. <laughs> it's not the place for trucks in this parking garage. Going to meet LFD right now in the parking garage. He's gonna come along with us for this little adventure. We're gonna know some information very shortly. Maybe you have the disc. I do. <laughs> you point it right at your belly. Like, I do have the disc. It is right here. I, I keep it. everything in here. I, I, I ate it. I ate all things. <laughs> anyway, little little nervousness. Little nervousness going on. I left these here. It's a there's a, there's a man a few words, but he's, he's here. God bless him. Oh, all the way up. <laughs> Feels a little, like, woozy there. Anybody else's ears pop? Gravity pulling two people down. Yeah. Ooh. What happened to that blood pressure? It went up. <laughs> because I uh, had a little too much. Uh, Ice cream? Rocky Road. Well, not Rocky Road. Cookies and cream, Blue Bill. I was going to say, that wasn't from your dietitian, right? No, it was not from my dietitian. She's been doing a good job. If it were not for her, she'd be higher. But also a little nervous, you know, a little nervous to be in here. You sit on this white paper, you're getting your brain looked at. It's a little, it's a little nerve wracking. So I'm going to be asking a lot of questions during this process. Um, I'm not going to film Dr. Kim because he's, he's high profile. He's big time. <laughs> And uh, I'm just a little pee on his world. So um, we're just trying to help you guys understand what's going on. And we're going to learn here very shortly. So mm -hmm. so we've had, we've had two doctors come in so far. And news is good since the last time I was here. And now there's not a whole lot has changed, which is good. That means that the growth is not rapid. It's a slow, slow growth, if any. So I'm hoping when Dr. Kim comes in here, he's going to give us the third final great news of hey we're just going to monitor this and that would mean I'm going to have to get MRIs regularly um, pretty much for the rest of my life I guess. I feel like every time somebody walks through that door it's like Ooh. I'm hoping it's Dr. Kim but it's not. <laughs> Maybe the next person to walk through that door will be Dr. Kim. She's happy too. She's happy. She's like, Daddy's okay. <laughs> yes, so much winning, y'all. Three doctors came in. All three said, you don't have to get gamma knife radiation right away. You can hold off, you can wait. So we are gonna go celebrate. I'll tell you guys more about it. And it's your what? birthday tomorrow. It's my birthday. That That's another great. two years in a row, I get great. Well, last year was a little different, but <laughs> what a great birthday gift this is. We got good news. All right, so here is the deal, y'all. <clears throat> like we're really pregnant in this shot. You are very pregnant <laughs> in the shot. In fact, the last time Ooh. we were at the surgeon's office, I was thinking the next visit in here, you were going to be a mondo. Popping out. So, I was given a choice, y'all. The choice I was given was to go ahead and have radiation treatment uh, on, on Willis, and we looked at some of the scans, and what we found is there's about that much of them left, 10% of the original tumor now. However, where he is is in a very bad spot. He's still just attached to uh, one of my main arteries that runs through my brain and then very close to my optic nerve as well so it's just not an area you can touch so I could have some effects down the road and this is something that has to be monitored and I am giving the choice to go ahead and have radiation put on there right now but because we have little Emmy on the way and I'm young I'm one of the youngest patients that they have that has one of these kinds of tumors um, I decided to wait and they gave me the pros and the cons and this is why I decided to not go ahead and have the gamma knife. If you go ahead and have gamma knife surgery it gives your body a longer amount of time for those cells uh, that are being radiated to radicalize so there is a greater chance of 
something else that can happen, some cancers that can develop um, malignant style tumors inside of your brain. If it's with an older person, it's almost an automatic yes because you're just at a later stage in life and uh, it takes a long time for these cells to really kick in. They told me three years before it really starts uh, reducing the growth or seizing the growth of the tumor. But because I'm young, I still have a lot of life left. At least I hope so. At yes. least I think so. <laughs> we want you around a long time. Yes. So that's why we're going to not go ahead with the treatment. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait six months. I'll probably have to go every six months to a year and get those scans uh, on my brain and see if there's any growth and any radicalization or if there's any type of, if I have any kind of small seizure or if I have start having trouble in my eye. They ask me tons of questions about my eye uh, and just my general health because that gives them signs and signals and I really have had very little of that. I've had few headaches, ocular headaches and things like that. Um, but I haven't taken any medicine or, or anything. Um, so it's going to be super important for me to stay in shape, keep good health and just monitor this. But with little Emmy on the way, I don't want to put myself at risk for anything else to happen, even though I know I'm in the best hands. But because I'm having three doctors tell me that and there's very, very, very little, if any change since the last time I had that MRI scan, I think we're going to wait. Yeah. We're going to be good to go. And I'm okay, guys. <laughs> that is the biggest thing. We were. That's the biggest thing going into today is we were thinking, well, what, what if they say, growing. whoa, yeah, it's growing rapidly. We got to, we got to get in here. Let's, let's go do this uh, procedure next week. And even though I know this procedure is, it's an outpatient type deal and it's this radiation, it does take a long time to take effect. Uh, it just, it's the fact like, oh man, I got to deal with this right away again. A year, a year ago, I was getting this diagnosis. Now I'm going to deal with it again. Willis 2.0. I don't want to have to deal with that. So now all we're dealing with is an old shriveled up prune version of Willis. And if he makes any wrong moves, he's getting zapped. <laughs> and they went ahead and gave us the okay to not come back until after the, the Christmas holiday too. So we don't have to worry right. about it until February. So 2019, we're going to be dealing with Willis again. Hopefully nothing in between then. But for now, I'm okay. And it is time to go celebrate that fact. Life is good, y'all, man. The doctor even said that you looked so good. He even asked you if you were taking steroids. He did. I said, well, no, <laughs> does it look like it? <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go celebrate with LFD. He's working down here. He came to go visit with us in the hospital. We're now going to go out to dinner. And it is my birthday as well. So a fantastic birthday gift to know. I don't want to have to deal with this for another six or seven months. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> it's time for a little sweetness in our lives, yo. You gotta have some sweetness every once in a while. Oh. Look at it, dude. Oh. <laughs> OSG for the parking space win. Why am in I? My truck. <laughs> Always having issues parking. First it's the trailer, now it's I mean, the She's truck. going straight at the white line, just <laughs> getting it. Wow. Wait, that's better. Hang on. Don't hit them. I won't. Wow, you're scaring people. I got it. I got it. Are you sure? Oh. You are really close to that guy. I'm not. I'm within my lines. We are going to stay in our old stomping grounds. We are. College Station, home. Texas tonight. And we might take a little walk, get a little feel for the town again. All these college kids are coming in and all that, and we're just grown ups. We're just grown ups. This is where we where we basically dated. It and, is. And started our life and and uh this is and where now it all we're began. back. This is a good way to wrap this up. This is like the circle life happening it's good news coming back here people watching this probably don't know what we're talking about but Aggies is it's a tight-knit community here in Texas somebody special got me some milk and cookies 
Oh my gosh, what an incredible day. Thank you, honey. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I was hoping today was going to be good, but in case it didn't, you would have had chocolate chip cookies. It's good in a way. Milk. They're even better in the case that we got great news. And we just had delicious dinner and chocolate cake there and chocolate cake and chocolate. And we had chocolate cake. Now we got chocolate cookies plus milk. That's a win. That's a win. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we gotta go for a walk. Yeah, we need we to go for a We gotta walk. walk some of the dinner off, and then I'm gonna come back and enjoy one of these cookies. <laughs> what a good day, y'all. I feel like I'm walking down Lover's Lane. You think little Emmy's gonna go to A&M? I hope so. <laughs> this is the campus that we, uh, we made memories on. Um, we learned here. We did learn in things. She learned a lot more than I did. <laughs> we went to coffee shops here together. We did a lot of coffee shops, but spent a lot of time in this library on campus. Uh, it was mostly me editing fishing videos and then her. Doing organic chemistry. Or do, doing chemistry and things like that. Okay, I think we are going to end it right here, y'all. It has been an adventurous day. We did not know where this was gonna go when we woke up this morning weren't sure how this was gonna turn out and then we got the best news I think we could possibly get. We're gonna hang on another six months, come back and do this again. But I think a great way to end this is at our old stomping grounds where we met. I agree. It's been a good day. Got some good news. Tomorrow's your birthday. You can live another year. No, I'm I'm trying. <laughs> hey, 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 you're funny. <laughs> I think it's needless to say that life is really precious. Um, you know, when you have something like I, I have with a tumor, even though it's a small tumor left on my, my artery, it just leaves a little reminder uh, that, that says, you know, things could go wrong someday, any, any minute. There's, uh, life is precious and you need to take it day by day, enjoy the small things uh, and enjoy it. So I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are. Remember to just have fun. Live it up a little bit. OSG and LFG sending you off with some fun right here. We're going to let these young kids, I don't know what they're going to do with their lives, but hopefully they're <laughs> going to enjoy them and do something good and great. I'm sure they will because they're Aggies. So until the next time, we will see you back at the treehouse. Hey, you want to go up there and party a little bit? Yeah. Show, show, show them how them. the old folks do it. <laughs> show them what's up. Let's see you do a high kick. Uh, yeah, no. I think that might put me in labor. <laughs>